Hello, Jez Cox here with short highlights from the third running of the UCI eCycling Zwift World Championship set in the brand new world of Glasgow, Scotland. First up for the men, the scratch race, 14.2 kilometers. And of the 86 riders that start, only the first 30 riders across the line would progress to round two. So a scratch race with a full on elimination to the rear as they come to that one finish line. Big names competing as well, as you saw there leading on the screen, Victor Kampenarts competing from the United Arab Emirates, where he waits to start the UAE Tour on Monday, of course. Lots of big names from our sport and lots of Zwift e-racing regulars as well, who've really honed their form in this kind of racing. Burritos are the power-up available on the punch, which is the first of our races and riders choosing to use them to eliminate drafting around themselves. Coming to the line though, the finish line itself, it was the German, Mark Mading, just pipping Harvard Gledners, the Norwegian, on the line. And that would mean that Benjamin Hill was the last one through in 30th place. Ben Hill there from Australia, as you can see down the bottom, the last of those to qualify and go into round two. Round two is called the climb. 30 riders left taking on the Skur climb and uh, competing over 8.5 kilometers in total. They go across that climb three times. The third time is the point at which we whittle these 30 riders down to just 10 to make it into our final race. A tactical affair and a cautiously poised one at first. The riders finding that the gravel section on the climb really taking its toll and slowing things down. Renus Verheller was one of the uh, early riders looking to try and get ahead, but he was about to find out the effect, and there we have it, of the anvil, the power-up available on the climb. Uh, and the anvil's taking effect by basically adding extra weight to the riders on the descent, one of the in-game power-ups. This was the run into the finish. Leandro Messino had a great run. The Argentinian just ahead of the peloton, having used that little dip to get clear. And this was the final sprint out of the gravel, back onto the smooth tarmac. Messino just losing out. Kiel Power and Jason Osborne showing his form as he came to the line. The world champion from 2020 and now a pro on the road, of course, Jason Osborne of Germany taking the win just ahead of Zach Nair. Those places just changing as they crossed the line and Kiel Power was the next of those finishers. So that would mean that Anders Folderger of Denmark was the last of the 10 qualifiers who would go through to the final race, the elimination race. 12.3 kilometers and uh, 133 meters of elevation. The crucial thing being though, that there is a rider out every half lap. The last one across the line every half lap, so there's two sprint lines on this course, were out of the race entirely. 10 riders left, and one rider decided to go from the gun, Bjorn Andriessen of Denmark, using what I believe is his trademark early attack on the Zwift racing platform. The others seemingly not wise to it. This was the first of our sprints after just half a lap and the first of those to be eliminated there was Zach Nier of the USA and all the while Bjorn Andresen knocking out 6.26 watts per kilo and just settling into a lovely rhythm at the front this was the emulation of James Barnes of South Africa and that was taking us down to seven riders left in there the next of the really unlucky ones one of the big favorites Freddie Ovette of Australia next to be eliminated as well. And all the while, Bjorn Andreessen just tapping away that impressive nearly seven watts per kilo as we looked at him there. The Dane out front and staying out front. Mark Mading had a good dig by himself to see if he could try and jump across to get anywhere near Bjorn Andreessen. Jason Osborne joined him and those two would be the last two that could battle it out with Bjorn Andreessen. Anders Foldiger was the last of those to be eliminated before we were left with the final three. And understandably, our focus turned to Osborne and Mading, the two Germans, because Bjorn Andreasen, the Dane, became world champion. What a ride by him in that final podium race. From gun to tape, measured incredible watts by Bjorn Andreasen. Jason Osborne had just enough to hold off his countryman Mark Mading and take the silver medal. 
and mating the bronze. What a fitting finale. And this new format of the three rounds and elimination to take you through to the final had really proved itself. The 21-year-old mountain bike rider Bjorn Andreasen, the new world champion. Denmark has a new star in Rainbow Bands. Well, don't forget, you can catch the entire men's and women's races back in full on the GCN app.